Welcome to the channel. So my 2019 F-250 only has 400 or so miles on it. Brand new truck and I already caused some body damage to it. Now, I'm sure you know by now, all the F-Series trucks are now all aluminum. And the big fear is that the aluminum is gonna cost significantly more to fix compared to steel. So what I did is hit a low hanging pole. Post was about this high off of the ground and I swiped the side of the truck, I turned too tight. And uh, definitely sucks because the truck's brand new, but it's just one of those things. I really want to have it fixed because I want the truck to look 100% because it is a brand new truck. So here is a shot of the damage. Uh, we swiped the side of the truck. It, I believe it was a wooden post. It's definitely gonna be, uh, it's definitely not gonna be a paintless repair because the paint is definitely scratched. And the cap corner uh, shows some uh, some damage as well, and there's a little bit of damage right there. Uh, well, I think that it swiped even the back corner, but there's no real damage there. Cause the pressure was definitely uh, lifted up. I think maybe there's even some denting here on the rear fender, but it's not real noticeable. Uh, but yeah, there's definitely some denting here on the rear. Uh, fender but it kind of goes with the body line definitely sucks so I want to really see what this is going to cost to get fixed uh, so anyway see you guys at the body shop all right welcome back to the channel so I'm at JNL collision auto glass uh, we're looking at the repair here for the aluminum truck I know a lot of you guys guessed the price but now it's time to figure out what it's going to cost for the repair so I'm with Jerry and he's going to explain uh, the cost of the repair and how much is going to be involved and uh, with the aluminum truck. So uh, what all do you think is going to, it's going to take to uh, get everything fixed? I wrote an estimate for $1,550. Got to repair the front door at the back. Okay. Got to repair the rear door here and down the side. Okay. And you're going to have to repair the cab panel okay. here and then got to repair the quarter panel here got to replace this and R&I the, the mud flap the top piece got to replace oh, the 4x4 wow. decal okay. that's on the quarter okay. got to remove the tail light and the rear bumper oh wow so you can get the, the paint this has got to come off oh okay either that or the paint will the clear will peel. Oh, wow, jeez. So in order to get all that paint to not look off, you really got to paint up more? Oh, yeah. Wow, yes, okay. Absolutely. And then you got to clear coat all of these panels. Okay. Because there's no... I, I got you now. So that's why we got to do all that so we can correct. get the paint correct. Right. This has got to come off. That's got to come off. And then your bumper and your taillight's got to come off. This top piece got to take off the back on and you got to replace your decal okay now with the aluminum panel and aluminum material is that a lot more money than steel panels? no on the smaller stuff no no but if you get into a heavy wreck it's much more intense okay much more cost a lot more to fix the vehicle okay well, all right well that's going to be the price. We will see you guys at the next scene. All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. So uh, back home now, and I'm looking at the quote, and it's $15.90 to do the entire job. And uh, it is a pretty high quote. I was hoping for like maybe five, six hundred bucks, but it's not. And what he was explaining is... In order to really do it right, in order to really fix it and have it be uh, original truck again, it, it involves doing the paint or pulling the dent, doing the paint, uh, a little work here in this cap corner. And this area here in the back quarter is also dented. And it was actually pushed in more, but I was able to reach back behind it and pop it out so it's not as bad but this is uh got some damage on it 
and a little bit here then in order to get the paint just right they would paint the whole thing down the back so that it would not be noticeable or any kind of blend it's going to just be a respray on the whole side which would bring in a new 4x4 decal and would also involve lifting up this part of the plastic so that it can be painted and look original underneath popping out the tailgate or tail light so again it can be painted and it's not a tape job kind of thing or a lot of shops would do a tape job they'd actually remove so that the paint could be perfect and look 100 percent back to original quality and that would involve also removing the rear bumper removing you know those push pins and to getting this plastic off of the truck so that the paint can be painted around all these plastic components and plastic parts uh mud flap everything the paint would be behind it and then those parts would be reinstalled so that brings what that is why the price would be what it is and a lot of people were saying in the comment section that i should wait until after the snow season and it really does make sense i really didn't want to i really wanted to get it done but when you think about you know making it look original again it does make sense to wait until after the season because undoubtedly it's going to get some more scratches uh undoubtedly it's going to have some more fall flaws after the season i mean it's not really that bad i haven't even washed the truck since it happened so once i wash it i'm sure it'll be okay maybe i'll reach back behind the door and try and push it out a little bit maybe pop that dent out a little maybe i don't know figure something out but i don't know if i want to spend that much right now with it being the season being as slow as it is and everything right now we haven't really done any snow this year so i don't know i think i'm gonna wait right now until spring to do it so that way is less uh less i guess wasted but anyway guys that's it for the repair oh, as far as it being aluminum it didn't really matter that it was aluminum for he said for light for light stuff like this uh aluminum is not a big deal but if you got a full entire wreck then that will make uh then that that will be a bigger cost but little dings and dents uh the aluminum does not make a big difference but anyway guys thank you for watching hope to hear from you soon and see you guys later